And by the way, gang, I've started taking notes of uh, things that I want to do streams on. Some of them mathematics, some of them just specifically topics, right? Uh, but I'm not there yet to organize it to be able to do. Uh, but I have my book here. I can drop some hints. Areg on Sensor 2. Greetings, Chicho. What did you think of Trump's Bitcoin conference speech? I'm not sure how to take it. And in my humble opinion, Bitcoin is a trap now. Right? So people are pushing Bitcoin. Right? Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Personally, for me, you should never buy anything with Bitcoin because Bitcoin is a collectible. What you should do if you want to buy buy with cryptos, buy anything with cryptos, you should convert your Bitcoins to Monero or any other privacy coin and do purchases through Monero. Because if you buy anything through Bitcoin, there's a record of it, right? Complete record of it. If you convert your Bitcoins to Moneros, you kill that link, that chain that connects that specific Bitcoin to everything else and everybody else, right? So you put a sort of a, a veil on top of where is that money going, right? And I had this conversation. Someone mentioned this regarding Bitcoin and stuff like this. I said, my, my comment was uh, Monero is cash. Bitcoin is digital currency, centralized digital currency without privacy, without anonymity. So if you're, if you're sitting on Bitcoins or whatever it is, if you want to do any types of purchases, then convert to Monero and do your purchases then. Because, here, watch this. This is one of the things I took notes on, right? Because, here, I'll show you my notes on it. Just a little quick. I'm going to expand on this page. And if you guys have followed my work for a long time, you know when I bring up my books to start taking notes, I'm getting into producing work, right? Because... You need to take notes. <laughs> you, like, you, you can't do everything by memory, right? So here's what I... Because they asked me... Oh, yeah, I said in a previous video segment, I said, you know, I, I would be lightening a load on Bitcoin to a certain degree. I wouldn't be buying at $70,000, $60,000 or whatnot. And if you know my work on crypto, I've been in it for 12 years, longer than that, 14 years, right? So... It all depends who you are, when you're getting into the game or whatnot, right? But basically, they asked me, they said, well, Bitcoin, Monero, because I mentioned Monero at the same segment, I believe, and then, or the same stream. And they said, well, Monero hasn't gone up in value, but Bitcoin has. And I just commented saying, well, Bitcoin is a collectible, Monero is cash, right? So this is the note I took. And I've already looked at some of the charts, right? So this is what I did, Monero versus... Monero versus cash. I should say Monero versus Bitcoin. Monero equals cash. Bitcoin equals collectible. And then you got the charts and stuff like this compared to to this stuff. And if you look at the here, if you look at the uh, Bitcoin chart for the last two years, and you look at the Monero chart for the last two years, this is what it looks like. Okay. So let's see if we can do this. So. Monero chart, right? That's Monero if you can't see it. Right. Yeah. Monero, right? The Monero chart for two years, right? This is right for two years. So. The scale is years, right? It's going from 110 to 160, let's say. One sec. 110 to 160, right? And let's just go, it's doing this. It did a little dip. All the way down to 110 or 100 or something actually higher than 110 i think when one of the main crypto exchanges said they're you know they're removing monero from their exchange well that was uh coinbase i believe said that right and coinbase blackrock has a huge investment in coinbase and coinbase is one of the main exchanges that 
the pieces of shit that are waging war and con trying to control currency, World Economic Forum, BlackRock. They have a huge stake in it, plus some, right? So it did a dip. Went like this, and then came back up. And it was higher than 110. 110 would be around here, right? And then it came back like this. That's a chart of a currency. Of a stable currency, by the way. Okay. Bitcoin chart looks like this. Same time span, two years. Seventeen thousand, all the way to seventy-two thousand, right? So it looks like this. I'm going by memory here, gang. Okay? So, uh, and then two, 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 something like that, right? That's a collectible. That's a collectible. Okay. Now, if you look at. Uh, Canadian dollar in the last two years, um, what are Canadian dollar not? Canadian dollar sort of looks like this, but trending down. Turkish lira trending down. Japanese, yeah, serious downturn, right? So Japan has lost, doesn't look like this. Like Japan is not a good currency to have, right? You would have lost your purchasing power. Monero is a better uh, uh, stable coin fiat currency if you want to think about it but it's not fiat because this is cash right this is cash this has anonymity this has privacy this does not right so if you're sitting on bitcoin if you want to buy anything right don't buy it through your bitcoin because that says that shows where that bitcoin is gone what is purchased who it's gone to what you do you go from bitcoin to Monero, this has an of privacy, and from here, you buy whatever you want, right? All of a sudden, when that Bitcoin goes to Monero, I'm not sure if they're able to, uh, because the Bitcoin disappears there, it goes into a basket of, oh, Monero was bought, and then from Monero, if you got go back into Bitcoin, it's not the same Bitcoin, right? So it's sort of a laundering mechanism. Clean that Bitcoin. Now, the centralized state can come and say any Bitcoin that has, like we talked about before, they can come out and say any Bitcoin that has gone through Russia is now illegal Bitcoin, illegal currency, illegal tender, right? All of a sudden, if you try to buy anything with that bitcoin that has gone through russia they could easily put a code in there saying that's bitcoin's going through russia then it's invalid now right so you won't be able to purchase it but if you wash it through monero and buy their clean bitcoins then you can do whatever the hell you want with it personally i would go back to monero again right unless you want to hold the collectible right so it, there's a lot of stuff going on right you got to ask yourself why is trump coming out and doing this like El Salvador, the guy's been buying a lot of Bitcoin, you know, throwing hundreds of thousands of people, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in jail and stuff like this. Well, sure, clean up El Salvador. But why was El Salvador in such shit shape that it was? Well, it was because of the United States, CIA, multiple coups, assassinations and stuff like this. And they brought it to a place where they can put their own people in there, right? Sure, they've cleaned it up, but at what cost, right? At what cost? Okay. Now the United States Trump is coming out and saying, yeah, we're going to, you know, start investing in Bitcoin to, okay, it's a digital currency, no privacy, no anonymity, complete track record of everything, right? Well, how come Trump didn't come out and say, you know what, we're going to start increasing our gold reserves, our silver reserves, right? Why? Because gold and silver are precious metals give individuals privacy and anonymity because that's the ultimate cur ultimate asset you can invest in really because it's private it's got anonymity associated to it if i have a silver coin that silver coin is in indistinguishable from any other silver coin other than it having a canadian flag on it right so my notes here 
I was gonna lay it all out and bring all the charts and you know overlay the Canadian currency because we did a we did a video regarding Canadian currency right Canadian currency <laughs> only the cigar doing all this right Canadian currency in mid 2000s was worth more than US dollars right it was worth a dollar ten US let's say right now Canadian currency like if you if you expand this to, to let's say 20 years right instead of two 20 years Canadian currency let's say this was a dollar ten was a dollar ten now it's 62 right it's basically dropped 45 percent 40 percent in a matter of 10 years Canadian currency well if you look at the Monero chart and if you look at Canadian currency which currency would you rather have which cash would you rather have Canadian dollars or Monero hell I'll take Monero over that any day right if Monero continues to show this trend right continues to show this trend and remember Canadian currency has dropped 40 percent right in that time but inflation has gone through the effing roof right Monero doesn't deal with the inflation aspect of it right it doesn't protect you through the inflation but at least it provides you anonymity and privacy right so that's sort of the video mathematics aspect that it was you know I have in mind to start talking about but we just laid it out here anyway so maybe this is a homework for you guys take a look at some of the charts of different types of currencies take a look at Monero see where it's at take a look at the pluses between Monero and Bitcoin right and then start asking yourself how you want to be uh, engaging with the crypto world right extremely important extremely important okay